Hi, so today I'm gonna to meal prep again, like last week, but last week took a few hours. It was a longer meal prep. It was easy, but it did take longer. So this week I don't really have as much time. So this is gonna be something you could do pretty quick and it'll still be good. You'll have enough meals for the week. I'm gonna make buffalo chicken and buffalo cauliflower with some butternut squash. And also I'm gonna have spaghetti zucchini and spaghetti squash with some asparagus on the side. I'm gonna cut up some fruit. And then also, Matia is joining me today and she started getting this love with food box. So keep watching. Later I'll tell you what's inside and what this is all about. So I'm gonna do the buffalo cauliflower first. So I just buy it in these bags. It's already cleaned and cut. So I'm just gonna... buffalo chicken so I had just lean chicken breasts I cut I just took it out of the package and I cut it up into little squares so first before I do anything with the buffalo sauce I have to um, cook the chicken and then I'll do that part but I'm gonna use coconut oil I just throw on a tablespoon of that after that I'm just going to put the little chicken cubes into the pan and they're gonna cook. So they'll just kind of have to sit there for a little. While that cooks, this week I got, to make it quicker, butternut squash frozen. So I'm gonna put that in the microwave and just let those cook. And probably when they're done, I'll throw like seasonings on them and throw them in a pan. But also, right now, I'm going to cook the asparagus. There's a lot of them, so it's probably going to take a little while. I'm going to stash garlic and herbs seasoning on them. So I'll throw that over the top and then I'm just going to mix them around. So that's it. Let those cook for a little while. Check on the chicken. Now we can just flip as they start to cook. And they'll cook faster because they're in little cubes. Now we're going to make the spaghetti from the zucchini squash. So first I'm just going to cut off both the ends. Of all of them. I'm gonna use this little veggetti thing. So there's a thin side and a thick side. I like to use the thin side. So you just put it in and twist. And the spaghetti comes out. like vegetable spaghetti kind of mix that I bought. So I'm just gonna throw that in. I don't like to cook it before. I'll just portion it into the containers and then I'll cook it the day of because it cooks super fast and it has that like soggy and mushy if you cook it too early. And what I'll do is I'll spray on, I can't believe it's not butter, spray. And then I'll throw on probably some of this garlic and herb seasoning. So I'm actually just gonna put some of that now mix that around and then we're going to check the chicken again so these are almost cooked and if they're not like completely cooked that's okay because after the buffalo and everything is added to them 
which I'll show you next, they're going to go back in to cook more. So that's okay if they're not cooked 100% when I'm doing them right now. But I like to cook them almost all the way. It's almost done, so I'm going to turn that off and put them in this container and then I'll show you what I do to make the buffalo chicken. For the buffalo chicken, I'm going to, I just get plain Greek yogurt. So I'm going to add just like a spoonful of that. It depends how much chicken you have, which how much, uh, depending on how much chicken you have, that depends how much yogurt you want to use. So that one little scoop, like I didn't even use a full, um, one of these, that was enough. So now I'm going to get the wing sauce. And I like a lot, so I'm just gonna put it all over them. And then I'll get my spoon, stir that. And what I like to do is, I like to throw in some spinach. So I'm actually going to put that on the pan first and let that cook. And then I'll throw all the chicken on. And this is gonna look like a lot, but it like shrivels up. So that's why this looks like so much. So well, while they cook, I'll just throw these in. The chicken. And sometimes I'll add tomatoes, but I didn't buy any this week, so. Check on the butternut squash. Move them around. And then just let this cook. So I'm going to cut up some strawberries, kiwi, and a pineapple. And then I have blueberries. I washed them all before, so first I'm just going to put all the blueberries in this container and I'll put the strawberries with them. So I cut the tops off the strawberries and then I'll just usually cut them in half, not too small. And now I'm going to do the pineapple. We never cut a pineapple before. Strip the top off, and then you'll cut the top, bottom, top, bottom, cut it in half. Then you want to just get the rest of the outside off. So I'll just show you the first, like one half, because both halves will be the same. There's gonna be like a core in the middle that you wanna cut around. So I'll do this piece, that piece, and then you're gonna wanna get rid of this hard piece. And then from there, I'll just chop it and see just stop it there. So for the kiwi, I already took the skin off the other ones, but this is how I usually do it. You can use a peeler and just peel it off every side, but I think it's easier to just cut the two ends off and then just make a bunch of cuts around the side and then just slice it this way okay so everything's finished so I'm going to take the buffalo chicken and portion that out Okay, so I moved the chicken to the smaller section so that the buffalo cauliflower could fit better. So I'm just going to throw these in. I'm gonna divide the zucchini squash into these, so you kind of have to cut them apart.
I have the buffalo chicken, buffalo cauliflower, and the butternut squash. These will probably be lunch, the different zucchini squash spaghetti, which I'll add dressing or some kind of sauce to that, and the asparagus that was grilled. I have fruit cut up with um, kiwis, pineapples, strawberries, and blueberries. And then breakfast, I'll usually do egg whites or um, some whole eggs also. And I'll eat that with fruit or I'll have yogurt with that or something along those lines. And sometimes for lunch also, I'll do a salad with um, just some kind of different tuna or uh, imitation crab meat on top, something like that. So I'll probably end up doing a video on what I eat in a typical day since here I only show you what I prep. But that was my quick and easy meal prep for the week since I didn't have a lot of time. So comment with questions and with what you'd like to see. And now Matias is going to tell you about the Love With Food box. So keep watching. Hi, if you don't know me, my name is Matia, And this is my Love With Food box that I got this month. There is more snacks in it, but I couldn't help myself. I tried some <laughs> of them. Um, so basically what the Love With Food box tries to do is just give you healthy snacks every month so that you don't have to worry about looking for healthy snacks. This is the deluxe box and you typically get 16 to 20 snacks in each deluxe box. There is a smaller one and there's also a gluten free box in case you have a gluten allergy. And just some of the things in here, um, these are roasted kale chips and smoky bacon flavor. I haven't tried these yet, but they look pretty good. And there's also some black rice crackers, which are only 100 calories. These are gluten free organic salted caramel waffles, which I heard are pretty good. And then also coconut oil cooked kettle chips with sea salt flavoring. Then we have pasta chips, which these also look really good. And these are just double chocolate chip cookies. I ate the, um, what are they called? Wait, did you say like snickerdoodle or something? Uh, oh, shortbread. Oh, <laughs> snickerdoodle. <laughs> I ate these shortbread ones and they were really good. And then I also, there was three of these in there, but I ate them. Um, these are fig bars and this is a raspberry flavor and all of these all of these snacks have are all are there's no artificial flavoring they're all natural flavoring things like that um, and then the last two things I have there were a bunch of these but I ate these two mm -hmm. and these are just green tea latte candies which are really good and then this I'm not a big fan of but you might be it's a banana bar and so this is I think $24 a month which is worth it I mean it's 20 snacks and you get doubles of all the snacks or even triples and it comes in all different kinds of flavors and things like that. Plus you feed, um, whenever you buy a box, you give two meals to a food bank in America. So you're helping other people out as well. And you can check them out online at lovewithfood.com and all their social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, things like that. So yeah, thanks for watching. That's all we have for today. So comment with what else you want to see in videos coming up. Thanks, thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot, I wanted to mention my favorite, it's not really ice cream, but it's like frozen desserts from Arctic Zero. I get a little bit chippy, it's like chocolate chip, cookie dough chip, and there's actual like cookie dough chunks, like if you look, I don't even know if you can see in it, but they are in there. And then these ones, cookie shake and chocolate peanut butter. I'm obsessed with ice cream, I could literally eat it every day, so these are good when I don't want to get regular ice cream and yeah so just thought I'd share those with you.